Hello, this is Alex from Belling, and here we have the new PB500 Echo 2 DVR. First, I'm going to show you the contents of the box. Here, we have the DVR, the infrared remote controller, the 16GB SD card, the pouch, the charger with an European adapter plug, the cable controller, the audio video in and out cables, as well as an USB cable. Here we have the PV500 Echo 2 DVR. It comes with an integrated 3-inch LCD responsive touchscreen. On this side, you can see the SD card slot, the lock button, the continuous and motion detection switch, as well as the stop and record switch. Here we have the 5 volts and 12 volts camera in in port. This is a new this is a new feature. The 12 volts option was available in the PV1000 DVR models from LoveMate. However, for a PV500 model, this is a first. So now you can use your 5 volts and 12 volts analog cameras with this DVR. Here we have the LED lights indicator and the power on and power off button. Right here you can reset the DVR to the default and here is the cable controller port. On this side you have the charger port, the audio video out port and the USB port. Like all the PV500 models from LoveMate, this DVR2 comes with a standard BA2200 battery that can be charged with the DVR and the charger that comes in the accessories or separately with the BCM Duo One. You can also upgrade it with the BA4400 and you will be, it will be possible for you to make longer videos. Now I will show you how to connect the camera to the DVR and how to start it. The first step is to insert the SD card in the DVR. If you skip this step and connect the camera first, the DVR won't power on. Now you can connect the camera. For this purpose, we'll use the BU19. It's an analog camera from LoveMate. It has an external microphone. And you can see here the input jack. It is also a button camera. So you can have the buttons here and make it a covered camera in a couple of seconds. We connect the camera and power on the DVR. And here we have the main menu of the DVR. You can choose if you wish to have the normal recording mode or motion detection recording mode. I'll choose the normal recording mode. And now we have been launched in the preview section of the device. You can preview the video you are about to make and you have additional settings here. You can choose the overwrite function so every time your SD card is full, it will just be overwritten with new videos. You can also choose and make a snapshot. Here we have the record button. And now we have the red dot here. The video has been started 
and the screen has been locked. To unlock the scre screen, we press the unlock button and to stop the recording, we press stop. It can also be done here, on the stop and record switch. We go back in the main menu. Here, you have all the video files that have been stored on the SD card. Here, you can choose whether you want the timestamp to be displayed or not. You can also choose whether you want the sound to be recorded or not. Here, you can choose in which video lengths your files will be cut. And can also choose the LCD standby time. Here are the time and date settings. The option to format the SD card via the DVR. And here we have some additional settings. You can choose to have a password on the DVR so no one can access the DVR without it. And here you can set your password. We, you can also restore, restore everything to the defaults here. Here you can choose the language and here you can see the device's information. So that was the main menu. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have further questions regarding the DVR or the camera, you can email us or leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Thanks!